Yo, what's up, YouTube? Thank you guys so much for all the support on the How To Shiny Hunt Legends and the Dynamax Adventures video. You guys are freaking awesome. I love you guys. I want to do an updated version, a little simplified, and with some of the new information that we have found out now that the data miners have got to play with the game a little bit. And uh, look, I got a shiny Dialga, and we've been working on Ho-Oh. So let's jump right in. First step, we're going to come to the max layer right here. This is where you do Dynamax Adventures. If you've started Crown Chandra, you know um, about this because it's part of the tutorial. Also, little tip, if you're looking for new mons to hunt, talk to Peony here because sometimes she's got a mon for you to go hunt. Now, she's got Dialga. We've already done Dialga, so uh, I'm not interested. But sometimes she's got a mon that you haven't done yet. Just talk to her and uh, you might be able to add one to your saved list. Now, we are going to talk right here to this lady and... Um, we are going to embark on a Dynamax adventure. And you can see here, I have Ho-Oh, Kyogre, and Tapu Koko saved. I'm going to work on uh, Ho-Oh again. This will be my fifth attempt at uh, Shiny Hunting Coco or Ho-Ho. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get some friends in here. And we're going to do this. And you guys will see how this goes. All right, so once it saves your game, if you want to invite your friends, you just do the link code by hitting the plus. If you just want to invite randoms, do invite others and don't invite others, which I don't recommend, would be just NPCs. Now, the NPCs kind of throw a lot, so I recommend just doing invite others or inviting three of your friends. Now, if you don't have people to play the game with and uh, inviting others isn't working well, feel free to drop me a follow over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Azure Bones, or join my Discord, which is in the description. We have a ton of people that are constantly 24-7 trying to do these, um, these dungeons and need help. So they're more than happy to help you do yours. And uh, they're more than happy to have you join them and help them as well. So feel free to join those options. And uh, hopefully we can help each other out. That would be super cool. All right. So our first mod was actually Toxicity that we went up against. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and catch this. I'm not going to use this here. Uh, but I'll leave it for somebody else to pick. I actually got a pretty good pick right off the bat. Uh, Rock is four times effective against Ho-Ho. Now, one thing for you guys to know is that you only get four lives throughout the entire adventure. So be very careful. You don't want to lose a life. Try to pick tankier mons and things that are going to be super effective along the way. And maybe mons that you're not going to struggle with. If you see a very tanky mon, uh, might be good to avoid it. Because, well, you don't want to take the damage. And it's going to take longer to kill. So maybe don't go down that route. Now there's a few things I want to talk about that I did get incorrect in my previous video. And I'm sorry about that. I did it day one. Um, I was going off information that I had figured out myself. But uh, wasn't necessarily correct. Now, like I said, you can use the right stick to go up and down the map. I didn't know this until somebody in my Twitch chat actually pointed this out to me. But it's super helpful. You can see ahead. You know, um, we know rock is four times effective. We're going to go towards the rock. And here, we actually got a backpacker where we can get items, which is super helpful. You know, I can just pick an item to help me, which is really nice. So, I'm just going to pick an item here that I think will help me out a little bit. Um, yo, Expert Belt is actually really good on this because I'm going to have super effective moves on my Kingler. No matter, we get all the way to the end. So that's really good. Now, we did find out shiny odds. Now, I know I said in the comments, I didn't think that the shiny charm was going to affect the odds. Now, I was incorrect. I apologize for that. Again, I was going off of hunches based on the way the game is already laid out. And the normal max raid dens where we currently fight, uh, where we previously fought Pokemon and the max raid dens, the shiny charm didn't matter. It didn't affect anything. And I assumed here it didn't as well. Because this is a similar layout. But that's incorrect. After data miners have looked into the game, it is 1 in 300 is your shiny odds with no shiny charm. And that's for each Pokemon. So each Pokemon, you actually have a 1 in 300 chance of, of it being shiny for each one. So you get 4 of them that are 1 in 300 if you catch every single one, which you should be doing. Now, if you have the shiny charm, your odds are 1 in 100, which is even better. A lot better. So I recommend doing the, the shiny decks, or not the shiny decks, but doing the decks, completing the Galar decks, and getting that shiny charm. It is very helpful for you, and you're going to get these really low numbers like you're seeing a lot of people in the comments and myself do. I've now gotten two shinies under 10 uh, total encounters, which is crazy. And maybe we'll get shiny ho from this one. This is only my fifth encounter, which is crazy. I got one at 7, and I got one at 9 with Dialga, which is nuts. Yeah, guys, finish that deck. So you don't need to do the Isla Armor decks, and you don't need to do the uh, Crown Tundra decks. Just the original Sword and Shield Galar decks is all you need to finish. Also, feel free, like I said before, 
my community is very helpful with this kind of stuff. We all are big Pokemon players. If you join our Discord, there's plenty of people that will help you finish your decks, give you trades, um, stuff like that. A lot of us have a ton of these extra Mons or have a current living decks of Mons that we could trade to help out. Because um, I know there's some that are hard, like if you don't have the Shield Dog, um, Zamazenta, that could be a difficult one. Uh, and you play Sword, then there's somebody in my Discord that will be more than willing to touch trade you that just to get the decks entry, which would be very helpful for you. So one more thing about the Dynamax Avengers is that the Shinies do not appear in the Dens. And we did already know this. So this Karkul here looks like a normal Karkul, and it will. But on the end screen, you guys will see here in a little bit, they will show if they're shiny or not. So make sure you throw your Pokeball at every single one. Just stock up on Pokeballs. Get the max amount. You know, they're not that expensive. Just go max out on Pokeballs. Buy as many as you can because you do want to catch every single Mon. All of them have the chance to be shiny. And hey, you could get a free shiny Karkul um, that you maybe didn't already have, which would be really awesome. So make sure you catch every single Mon. Every Mon has a 1 in 100 chance if you have the Shiny Charm, which is really awesome. If you don't, 1 in 300 is still crazy good odds. It's way better than like the 1 in 4,000 that it normally is. So definitely, definitely catch every single Mon every single time and check them on the end screen. All right, and there's our Ho. Now again, these aren't Shiny in the Den. So just fight it like normal. You do need to catch it at the end. Yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I love helping you guys out. It's been really awesome being able to talk to you guys and hear what your guys' questions are and what issues you guys are having and uh, what you need help with. And that's what I love doing on my streams and in my Discord. So if you guys want to join those, like I said before, uh, it's a really awesome community. My people are really great and they support me a ton, which is a huge shout out to them because they're the ones who drive me to do this every day. And the reason I was so inspired to try to figure out how to get shinies from these dungeons as soon as I could. Now, we took down this Ho-Oh really quickly because we were really prepared. We had water, we had rock moves, and it worked really well. Now, I'm going to throw a Luxury Ball. I stocked up on these bad boys. I have 900 of them. And, uh, yeah, I would like to see it in a fancy ball. And they have a 100% catch rate. 100%. So, you can catch everything in any ball you want. You do not get your balls back, though. So... If you want to throw a Beast Ball to try to get a Shiny and a Beast Ball, that'd be really cool. But unless you've saved up a lot of points and have got a lot of Beast Balls, uh, maybe not the best idea. So we're going to catch this Ho-Oh. We're going to go on to the Pick a Pokemon screen. And that's where we'll finally see if we have a Shiny or if we don't. Perfect. We've got it. Here we go. Time to see if we get a Shiny. Only five tries in. So we got a Toxtricity. That's not Shiny. A Karkul, not shiny. Charpedo, not shiny. And our Ho-Oh, again, not shiny. That's all right. No worries. All we're going to do is either pick a different Mon, or if you don't want to, you can just hit B and quit. But if you do want to pick another Mon, or if one of them shiny, feel free to pick them on this screen. Also, if you're not sure what the Mons look like shiny, just do check summary. Down here, uh, on the bottom, or in the middle, where all these like circle, triangle, square, the marks where you can mark them, it will show right next to it. It'll have the shiny star. It'll show it right there. None of these have that, so I know none of them are shiny. I also know what all the shinies for this look like, but if you don't, um, it's kind of hard. There's a lot of Pokemon. Totally understandable. Uh, you can check the summary as well. So we're just going to leave without picking a Pokemon. I don't need any of these, and we definitely don't want the Ho-Oh because I want to continue to shiny hunt it. So we're going to leave. Give all the Pokemon back. No problem. Get our Dianite Ore. Perfect. Now, when you get out here, this is where I didn't cover last time. And this is where I think you, a lot of you guys had questions. She's going to say, welcome back. Would you like us to keep a record of where you found Ho this time? Yes. Even though she had done it before, you have to do this every time or you're going to lose the position of it. So always say yes um, to this question if you want to save the position. Now, you can only have three. So if I go back and talk to her, you guys will see right here that I have three spots. Ho-Oh, Tapu Koko, and Kyogre. So now all I would do is go in there, do Ho-Oh again, find my friends, get them to join me, and just go again as many times as you want. And you can come back to this. You don't have to do them all in one sitting. You can go do parts of the story. You can go do battles, whatever you want to do. You can come back to this at any time. It's not a reoccurring thing. The odds are just always going to be 1 in 100 if you have the shiny charm, or 1 in 300 if you don't. Guys, if you have any more questions please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Visit me on twitch.tv forward slash Azure Bones or join my Discord. It's linked in the description below or at me on Twitter. I will more than gladly answer your questions and try my best to help you out. And uh, until then, let me know what videos you guys want to see. 
See you guys.